power play for Bowling Green. This is their second of the night. Face off to the right of Dryden McKay. Back out to the blue line. Here's Connor Ford. Sonny scores! Connor Ford on the power play! And the Falcons draw first blood. Four seconds in! Brandon Cruz will seal it on the near side boards. Trying to send it back down low into the corner. That's Craggs. Picked up by Cameron Wright. Bowling Green resets on the power play. That has 15 seconds to work with. Tim Theoteris back over to Will Cullen. This drive, and now that one's blocked. Cullen gets it back. Theoteris power play down to five seconds. Theo wrist shot, bounce it out front. Shot, score! And they're going to wave it off. Goaltender interference, I believe. It becomes a goal for Bowling Green. I, again, we weren't sure what was happening. But usually they come out of the penalty box and points. They did not. They came all the way to the Minnesota State bench to talk to Mike Hastings, who I guess was not happy about it. And then right after they talked to Coach Hastings, they pointed at center right to goal, and it's 2-0 Bowling Green to Falcons. Shy working his way in deep slot, feeds it across. This is Toomey again. Toomey, right circle for Julian Naprovnak. Now Toomey, now for Shy, left circle. Back over for Toomey, straight away, wrist shot, score. And it's 2-1 on the power play goal. Parker, Toomey. Andy Carroll back into the offensive zone. Waits, waits, shoots, score! Through the five hole of Eric Dopp, who, by the way, did not have his stick. And with 2.36 left in the third period, the Mavericks have tied this game at two. So 2.24 left in this game for have a clear winner and a clear loser. Three points to the winning team, zero to the losing team. Here's a shot from Jack McDeely on front. They score Nathan Smith right off of the draw. And Minnesota State sweeps. The Bowling Green Falcons, 3-2. to two. They come from all the way back from two goals down to sweep the Bowling Green Falcons. Six points on the weekend.